this is Shane Laughlin. He sees himself as a dangerous warrior. I'm a Navy SEAL, Mac. I'm used to winning. I'm used to receiving respect, hard-earned respect. And being blacklisted, it makes me sick. This is Dr. Michelle Mac McKenzie. She thinks Shane is more like a glorified Boy Scout. Look, Navy, I get that you're a rule breaker, a badass, blacklisted, cage-fighting rebel. Point made. Max a greater than, which means that in addition to her less than positive attitude, she's developed superhuman abilities from a grueling training program that makes Navy SEAL buds seem like a walk in the park. For years, she's been a member of the Obermeyer Institute's elite rescue team. If she wanted to, she could kick Shane's highly skilled Navy SEAL ass, which makes Shane pursue Mac even more aggressively, which makes Mac angry, angrier. She wonders why Shane won't just go away. Why do Navy SEALs do anything? Because they're a little crazy. Shane is a little crazy. He's also intrigued by Mac. And okay, it's not entirely about intellectual and spiritual connection. The unbelievably hot one night stand they impulsively shared has left him jonesing for an equally molten replay. But Mac is determined to keep her distance. How can I help? Even when he says things like that, especially when he says things like that. Mac knows that she has unnatural power over men and Shane is no exception to the rule. She knows that his feelings for her aren't real. How can I help? She wishes pretty desperately that he would stop saying that and stop being so damn perfect and handsome and funny and smart. And have I mentioned that he's a former Navy SEAL? How can I help? The problem is Mac does need a little help. Someone is kidnapping little girls and bleeding them dry, using their blood to make a dangerous and addictive new drug called Destiny that promises its users eternal youth. This is where it gets a little strange. Strange and awful. And here's an unpleasant twist. Nika Taylor, the latest girl who's been kidnapped, just might be the most powerful greater than ever born. Damn. A double projection across dozens of miles? Who is this girl? But Nika's sister, Anna, doesn't care about greater thans or superpowers. She just wants Nika back, safe and sound. Clear, my sister is a child. She's only 13 years old. Mac wants Nika safe too, enough to enlist Shane's help in her rescue. Slow me down and I'll leave you behind. But not enough to tone down the attitude. Mac's used to risking her life, but now she's in danger of losing her heart to a man who can't possibly love her. So when Mac's anger doesn't keep Shane away, she tries telling him that he's boring. I don't bore you, Michelle. I scare you shitless. Not surprisingly, Shane keeps on coming. I'm a Navy SEAL, Mac. I'm used to winning. This is going to be interesting. Born to Darkness, the first book in Suzanne Brockman's Fighting Destiny series. On sale at midnight, March 20th. It's always darkest just before the dawn.